Tandiwe was my first student here when I was teaching at Mpunduini Primary School and to see that Tandiwe is now in university yeah. and it's something I'm very proud of but it's something that in a lot of ways you symbolize everything we're trying to do here. <laughs> We walk in, it was one of those cold PE nights, freezing winter cold, it was just nine years ago, June. Yeah. And uh, he comes in, he says in Glosa, which I didn't understand, he says, hey, I'm sick of speaking English all day, talk to this young American guy. And so Banks and I sit down. You were standing there, seeing you in the township was the first thing that showed me, you know, this person, you know, is someone who has Ubuntu. I remember that evening when we said we were going to start a Ubuntu education fund. And it was just you and I sitting around the braai, cooking some meat, and we said, we got to start this organization. I had this dream of doing something better for our children in the township. And uh, meeting you, I mean, it was really, I mean, it's dream come true. But we didn't just start it. We spent the next six months traveling around the townships, walking to shack to shack, home to home, talking with people, students, teachers, doctors at clinics. And that was nine years ago we started by listening. And nine years later, we haven't stopped listening to people. We we are, we are together, we are, we are, we are together, united and strong family. We are, we are together, we are, we are, we are together, Ubuntu is it's, it's humanity. It's 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 that concept saying you you exist because others are here. I mean you exist because of other people, which means in Kosa there's nothing you can do on your own. It has definitely nothing to do with your religious background or political background or whether your clan name or anything. Just a person, your color of your skin. I mean you're just a person. And you help a person because it's a person. We want the struggle because of oneness, you know. So I would say Ubuntu is oneness, is knowing that you've got a brother, you've got a sister who will fight with you, you've got somebody who's going to stand up with you and a way forward. I would say it's a notion based on interdependency. If you don't understand the meaning of Ubuntu, definitely you won't be able to work for this organization. Everything that we're doing here interprets what Ubuntu is. My name is Fezega Mtoli. I'm working for Ubuntu Education Fund as an OVC specialist. The Jam family is one of the families I'm working with. This is the granny, Nandipa's granny, Mama Ella, and this is Nandipa. My name is Nandipa Sylvia Jam. I, I live in Soweto on Sea in Port Elizabeth. I live with my grandmother and my uncles. 
I have no parents. My mother left me in 1994 with my grandmother. When I was doing grade eight, I was sick. Likely I found a teacher who was willing to listen to me. She also asked me about my family and I told her everything. She offered my mother a money to take me to the doctor for a blood test. That's when, that's when I found out that I'm HIV positive. My teacher referred me to Ubuntu Education Fund for counseling. That's when I met Sis Fezi. Sis Fezi works hard to expect my status and counseling. I take three in the morning at nine o'clock. At, ni at night, I take three before okay. I sleep. Okay, that's good. It's very difficult for a child to talk about sexual related issues, you know, what we are telling them in the school. And then, but the truth is we see things happening in the community and we thought now we have to be very sensitive about the culture of the township when we convey message and we have to be very cognizant also of the culture of the township. So whatever we do, we have to align it with the culture so that it could be acceptable, rather coming on top of the people and tell them, even if how much you know, but you have to really work it in within the culture. For child-headed households like the Ngaiza families, what we usually do, because they don't have any source of income at home, whenever they are short of something, they will tell me and then I will bring it back to them. They are so amazing. Each and every one of them, they have a special thing. Like Star, right next to me, she's a soccer player. Lungi, I like her because she's also smart. She writes poets. Every time I meet her, I'll say, Lungi, please. There's a poem that I want you to, to, to read for me, you know. And on the other hand, also Zetu, she's young, as young as she is, she's able to listen to me and, and, and work with her own siblings to be able to respect her. I remember my father always told me that don't go outside when it's later. I know, I just miss my, my dad. We usually go out on weekends, see movies, all that stuff. The name of the poem is Act Against Abuse, and it goes like this. Mother, 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 don't kick me, don't sweat me, don't beat me. Father, don't touch my sexual places in my body. Boys and girls, can we act as brothers and sisters? I have one question for the children. That question says, when we don't respect our parents, what do we think? People of South Africa, I think we can make HIV and AIDS be gone, be not here in this world. We fight for a freedom, but now make a freedom as an apartheid. Turn around and look all the places. Is this the South Africa that we were fighting for? I don't think so. Old people, well... Old people, when you make us cry, what do we think? Because what's happening is not the end, it's just the beginning. People of South Africa, or should I say South Africans, can we unite and create one big family, family, family? When I first started, I had nothing. I had no knowledge about HIV, no nothing. I only had grade 12. But uh, when I, I was trained uh, by Ubuntu and started uh, to, 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 to work in cases, doing counseling, that's when uh, I saw that this is something that it's within me. This is something that I want to do for, 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 for the children of South Africa to change their lives. <laughs> When I got tested, uh, I wasn't afraid because I was young, I think, last year. I, was, I wasn't afraid, I was just waiting to hear the results. If I was positive, I would just deal with it. With it. I wouldn't be afraid because it has happened. What I'm scared of uh, when, I, when I, I think of uh, uh, testing myself is that what if I'm positive and I'm not ready now for treating myself? Before I have get tested, the counselor asked me like, like, 
Why, if you have HIV AIDS, if you are positive, and I told myself that, huh, maybe I'm going to kill myself. HIV, if it happens, it's, it's your fault for me, I think. Just because you know almost that if I don't use a condom, I will get it, no mm. matter what. Some kids um, are HIV infected because uh, they are sexually at active at an early age. And we realize that it is because of the lack of information. Parents do not talk to their kids. Therefore, kids, they get information from their peers. Okay, my name is Nisi and my surname is Ngobo. I live with my step-grandmother. My real mother died of HIV and AIDS, and I didn't see my real dad. My mom was like, why HIV and why not TB? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Everybody dies. Can't you see that? Young people are dying. So why I could be I the, I would be the one who is remaining. Now in PE you now, the space of graveyards are finished. What is proved by that is that people are dying. And young people are dying. I've been through a lot and I've been saved by this organization. So Ubuntu is just everything in my life, everything. When I go home, I wish like there will be no night because I, I, I wish I can be in the community. I'm just thinking of the time that I'm sleeping and then someone is like suffering and then thinking of all these stories that I had during the day. And sometimes it affects you because I go home and I'm, I'm just in tears. And I cry so hard because you want to take away the pain, especially in kids. You can't, you don't know how to explain to them as more to, to adults because at least they've got a better understanding. But for kids, it's just tears. Two years ago when ARV drugs became available here, we started an aggressive program to target young mothers and get them onto treatment because we found if we can keep a mother alive, we can keep a child safe and in school. And it was it was so, I remember looking at those matriculation results and our kids who were matriculating and, and healthy and educated and going on almost always had a living mother. And that wasn't a coincidence. And it was almost so s simple and these drugs were available. So we started this whole program to help what we call treatment access and in, in, in getting, our, our young, getting people to know their status. And the first way of addressing HIV is you've got to know your status. Nobody around knows their status. We take things gradually, steps by steps, because we believe within our culture, not all of the things that, have, that are problematic, but we have to take those that are good and make sure that we are trying to lift them up by giving them workshops. That's what we are doing as Ubuntu. We are doing different work, we are doing workshops within the community, trying to change the mind, because the problem is the mindset. <laughs> This one is a male, it's a male condom, ne? Lena. Uvelenje, aba pagati, ne? Kulul, ebo. Ibe itualumoy. Emva kwa kunje bamba ile wena uyatoba. Kuku wekwa ma ukwele ngapezulu. Kuku ba ma uyenzi nzana. And ke yonge londole ke mo. You open. This is how it looks, ne? Take this middle finger. You reach for this and then you push it. You push it When this man come, you hold, you show him where to go. Because if you don't do that, he's going to do fumble and fumble and fumble. You know almost how clumsy they can be. <laughs> so you hold, you said, Buddy, this is where you're supposed to go. Our society is teaching that men or boys are fine when they beat women are fine when they show their anger in violent manner. That's what I've learned from these boys, because that, that, that's what they are projecting, that's what they know. It's, it's in their family. It's normal to beat a woman. It's normal to be doing nothing. I'm 
because maintain um to why see no basket in doing colors along scene of Beno was on bed, but then for Bongal and Aguimis, Pangunda, and feel separate from the past scenes. You cannot just come to a parent, to a father, and say, you know, it's very much important for you to talk about HIV to kids. No. Firstly, they need to know why, anyway, are you getting involved? What is the purpose of you being part of their kids' lives? All right. Then from there, you get to be relaxed and you will see that the parents now get comfortable talking to you, okay? So it's not a, a, a one conversation, all right? It's a process. Any program that we come with, we don't actually come with a program. We let the people tell us what they want and then we design our programs along the needs of the people. Right now, after nine years, we're embarking on the most exciting projects at Ubuntu. We're building a giant community center, environmentally friendly building, which, which will be our new offices and our home for the next 50 years. And the centerpiece of this building will be an HIV tuberculosis clinic that's in a community center. To start to normalize HIV, that's what we gotta do. I am Fezzi. With me here, I've got Pamela and Zoleka. They are both my clients. I'm from Ubuntu Education Fund, doing family case management. Pamela came to us last year while she, she lost both of her parents. Zolega is assisting Pamela on doing household chores as well as also assisting with her kids while she is still in university. Zolega was married and she was pregnant in 1998 and in 2003. And then she went for HIV test and then she found out that she's HIV positive. After she knew about her status, she thought of killing herself and her two children because she was struggling and then the husband was not supporting them at all. Years before, she used to be a marathon runner. And then she thought, I must continue running. I'm running marathon, I'm winning medals, and was sometimes winning money. Then my nickname is Never Die. Chihuahua, 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 Chihuahua.